Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we did the uh, character demos for the first eight monsters. In this episode, we are going to do the next eight monsters, and if you are hearing things in the background, please ignore it. My door is not very soundproof. Anyway, we are going to do the Marionette, the Owl Round, the War Slug, the Chicken, the Death, the Kusith. The Holy Dragon and the Succubus. Okay, okay. Let's do this. And hopefully actually get a good recording this time. Last time the OBS like crashed or something. One minute into the video. We're gonna try and do a little better this time. Here I go, uh, forgetting to show off character abilities before I uh, do the thing. Okay, so, the marionette's abilities are as follows. Primary, soulless offset, ignore ailments. Safety, when attacked, can, attack cannot be critical, so immune to ailments, critical hits, um... That's pretty neat. So yeah, aptitude becomes 200%, but base stats decrease by 50%. I'm assuming that uh, since this guy is like a max tier uh, marionette, it doesn't really pay attention to the bonuses from Class World. So, uh, use this as at your own risk. Thursday is probably better. <laughs> Reverse element is also kind of weird. Reverse is plus and minus values of your own elements. So, like, 25 becomes minus 25, etc. It's not really something that needs to be explained all that much. <laughs> Alright, let's head into the practice map and show off some skills. Starting with... Dancing Knife! I use this here just because. So yeah, good old uh, clown puppet juggling. Everybody likes to juggle their knives. It's a thing. Spark Sphere. Sounds like something out of Golden Sun. I made the exact same joke in the last the uh, last time I tried to record this. Except it literally is a sphere and not just the highest level of synergy. <laughs> Gotta love out of context pretend references to something. Dangerous. Do not try this at all. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way to cut your hand off. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. I don't know why I'm doing that, it's a thing. Of course the, the pop-up blocks the thing. Pop-ups, you are supposed to be blocked, not block the thing. This is madness. Madness, I say! Ah! Alright, the marionette. Magic changes to... Looks like a bow. Okay. <laughs> I like how you can't really see what the sprites are doing because she's facing the wrong way. Who are you? It's always a thing. This time, you are the arrow. <laughs> 
I think I made that same exact joke too. Oh yeah, uh, special attack. These are the only special. Okay. The Alron. It's a plant person. Oh boy. Sweet aroma. Twenty per recover twenty percent of adjacent ally units at end of turn. Uh, SP pretty high. Res incredibly high. Prevention prevents ailments to adjacent allies. <coughs> Relaxation has SP consumption of adjacent allies. Herbal therapy increase element stats of adjacent allies. Pretty great. Definitely a uh, support type unit going on here. Pretty high res, average attack and int. Or what I mean to say is his. At your attack and int are about the same, not that they're necessarily average, but, well, I guess they could be at the same time. Special skills, wind and heal up to the omega level, espoir, and all six uh, stat boost spells. In addition to their unique skills, which I will be showing off promptly. Let's go. Boing! <laughs> um. All right, you don't have any counterattacks, so I'm safe if I decide to do this and the Prinnies decide to attack me. That was me yawning in a very strange manner. Let's have fun. That probably would have been a lot more impressive if you were surrounded there. <coughs> so, uh, this guy a 2 PC comes out tomorrow, apparently. Pretty excited about that. I finally get to show off the last bit of DLC that we never got here in the West. I'm also planning on uh, doing a couple of videos for Disgaea 1 PC, but uh, it's gonna have to wait while I actually finish the game on that. Believe it or not, I do not play Disgaea every waking hour of my day. <laughs> I play other games too, and go to work and do RPG type stuff, and it's solid thing. Also, Flower Hazard has a very weird uh, area of effect. I'm not really sure what I think about that. Alright, magic change. Let's magic change. Whoosh. It's a stat. No, it's a spear. <laughs> Stabs have a different animation, even though they look kind of similar. Deadly Pickle. By which I mean Deadly Prickle. It's a poison attack, evidently. That looked painful. <laughs> Looming Spear! It's a uh, plus shaped area. Wow, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! I can jump off falling flower petals! It's pretty great. <laughs> I don't know why Sonic was the first thing I came up with. Maybe it's just true! Anyway. Next up, we have the War Slug, a very uh, strange kind of unit. <coughs> They're a magical type monster. High int. Oh yeah, was I missing? Oh yeah, the uh, Alron has a base attack range of two, which is pretty okay. I approve of this. Anyway, uh, War Slug, Mass Blaster, 
Zone accuracy. As you can see, they uh, really like area of effect attacks. Psycho Barrier. 20% of SP added to defense if monster weapon is equipped. Obviously, you're only going to get any use out of this on monsters. 20% <laughs> of damage restores SP when attack is received. So, uh, theoretically, you can make like a magic tank out of one of these guys or pass their, uh, pass their ability onto a wood golem or something. Just something to keep in mind. As for special skills, ice up to the omega level and a whole bunch of stat debuffs. As for unique skills, let's get in here and check it out. Whoops. Licky Bounce. We gotta get closer. Let's get even closer. Also, note that, uh, note that our guy here has a uh, base throwing range of 6. So, uh, very good for bouncing dudes around. Like so. <laughs> Except he did not go anywhere. He just went boom, as prinnies are wont to do. Anyway, next up we have Electric Killer! Boom! <laughs> Again, I bet that animation would have looked more impressive if he was surrounded. Oh well. We are on a time budget here, by which I mean my throat cannot hold out forever. I am not built for talking a whole lot. <laughs> Here we go, dude! Rolling bowling. GeoQ just casually slides out of the way. Except it does not make it out of the way in time. That is why we will have a Combob. Yay, Combob! We're getting a whole bunch of items out of this. Alright, Rutil, you are on a uh, magic change duty once again. Once again, my face is equal to itself. All together, please. This is the reflexive property of faces. <laughs> okay, dual moon wheel. Very windy O Cooper. <laughs> You can tell I've been thinking a bit about the Marios when I mention Windy O. Koopa. Thunder Dance! Let's see it! Yeah! <laughs> Disco Afro Mumbo Jumbo! <laughs> I have no idea what that is even supposed to mean, but, uh, you're kind of thing. Stab. Moving on. Next up, we have pop-ups. Next up, we have the cockatrice, otherwise known as the DARK CHICKEN! <laughs> I can't do that without wrecking my voice. I managed to do it without waking up the kitty, though. <laughs> These guys uh, have a lot to do with miasma and debuffing adjacent enemies. As you can see, they're attack type units. Uh, attack and hit. Prohibit special skill use. Uh, speed cuts in half, d double deprave effect, and have the element. Er, no. 
Well, no, that's not exactly half. That's like minus 50 percentage points, which is a point that was brought up in XKCD at one point. <laughs> As for their special skills, blank out. That's the only thing they learn, apparently. It inflicts forget. Now then, let's show off our chicken skills, shall we? Smells like chicken soup. That guy's tail just does not give a thing about what's going on. Super egg! <laughs> Pretty big eggs. You gotta love them chickens. I don't know why I'm singing about chickens. It is because madness. Madness! This is madness! City Dragger! Punishment declared by the Magistrate. <laughs> Inflicts forget. I am told this is what happens if you try to take a chain chomp for a walk. Again, I'm probably thinking way too much about the Marios. Finally, we have Cockadrill. It's the inverted bill drill! <laughs> I say this because the bird needs to be the one doing the drilling for it to be the authentic bill drill. Just ask Banjo and Kazooie. They would know. I think maybe I would be wiser to not do these eight at a time, but you know what, what? You don't have very many left anyway. The chicken! Magic changes to an axe! Let's chicken the chicken. Both of these are uh, pretty typical axe skills, actually. Special Egg Crack inflicts Paralyze. First, I will turn you into an egg. And then, I will put that egg inside a box. And then, I will put that box inside another box. And I will mail that box to myself. And when it arrives on my front step, I'll smash it with a hammer! It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! <laughs> Season's Hesitance. Chicken is apparently a chicken. I'll smash you with my chicken. Alright, Thursday. Anybody, get over here and finish the job. Here. Stab. <laughs> All right, now that's taken care of. Let's switch our uh, switch our magic change club over to the other guys. Get out of here and uh, do the other four. Okay, first up we have death. Hey, I remember how the rest of that song went. And died. <laughs> My mother is watching this. She will get a laugh out of that. Anyway, mad they are magical monsters. High int, uh, less high attack, high SP. Pretty high hit, too. <laughs> anyway, Death Whisper. Normal attack will one-shot targets if, they're, if they got low SP. Heal magic effects by enemies on the map, decreased by 
SP consumption of enemies on map is doubled. I wonder if that stacks. There might be something to check out. For people who are not me. <laughs> Soul Crush. 50% of damage dealt also deals damage to SP. Not that we're going to see that in action because we are just way too powerful for our own good. Good times. I don't know why I'm trying to hover over the recruiting maps here. Obviously I want death in the practice realm. Oh yeah, uh, the, uh special skills. Wind skills up to Omega. That is uh, apparently it. Anyway, hug me headless. Well, this has gone completely pear-shaped. You have no other choice. You're going to have to decapitate me. <laughs> Good old Homestuck memes. Gotta love them. Remote Trail! Death is making a Castlevania reference. Good times. Everybody loves throwing mini scythes around. It's good times. Dark Pit! Oh no! You're sending Pitu after the Prinny. He's not going to be happy. <coughs> oh, you meant that kind of dark pit. Well then. Yeah, anyway. Unknown world. We're going to send you down the fly of despair! <laughs> I'm making all the shoutouts today. I made all the shoutouts last time I recorded this. It's a good time. Alright. That's that taken care of. Bye bye pretty town. Whoops. Alright, so, magic change. You mad to change to? <coughs> probably a staff, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're like the magical monster. Why would you not turn into a staff anyway? You can replace your magic bullet with this. Stack and balance, quick draw, shoot him up. Oh right, magic bullet is in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I forgot about that. In between recording sessions. Nightmare Gate. It's the Gate of Destiny. As portrayed by Magical Girls. Except we're not throwing people into it. Shooting lasers out. Sure. Whatever. All right, next. Next up, we have the Kusith, who's an adorable doggy with a very sharp horn. Let's see. Attack type monster. Oh yeah, does Death have a... No, he does not have an attack range. Who was I thinking had an attack range? You. Okay. Anyway. Axel Blow. Crit damage to Axel. Increased by panels. Move times Axel percent. <laughs> no. Assault charge. Crit rate increased by panels move times 10%. So yeah. Very good for critical hits, apparently. Wind's Blessing. Wind attack damage increased by 30%. Mock Strike. 30% of base speed added to attack when monster weapon is equipped. So yeah, these guys are apparently very high speed. Yeah, I can kind of see that in your stats, anyway. Moving on, let's show off the uh, let's show off the salad parade, by which I mean the uh, Movenator speed boost. Okay, that's your only magic. And keep doing it, man. Keeps happening. Here I go. It 
does never stop keep from happening. Charging horns. More like carving horns. Slicer Storm! More like Slicer Storm. I don't know how that's a thing that got it through the thing. Death Fang! Try playing with animals sometimes. They're adorable! They're also very deadly. <laughs> the deadly deaths of death. Brought to you by the letter K. I don't even know. You press the K key and the thing falls on your head. <coughs> we were not done here. Therefore, Thousand Wolves. Look at the puppies. Hello, puppies. Those are not, those are not puppies. They are big puppies. Curse you, Plankton, and your ability to form a fully functional human ear! Where was I going with this? I was going with the salad bar routine. Me too. Which I mean, I will. Me too. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I say things sometimes. Sometimes they make sense. You magic change to a sword. Wheelie blades. It's like a spinning sword dance, but vertically. Actually, no, it's still vertical even if you rotate at 90 degrees. It's just uh, a different angle. It's not supposed to go at an angle. Woofy Zoo, this is the puppies. And no puppies, they're so adorable. The one at the end does the most damage. <laughs> That's just silly town. <coughs> Alright, number seven, the Holy Dragon. Heaven's Blessing increases attack power by half of current height. You are apparently a very high int unit. Okay. Mist Cloak, damage decreased by 50% when receiving magic attack. Ice's Blessing, Ice Attack Damage, increased by 30%. This does not mean your Ice Affinity goes up. It just means Attack Damage. So, watch out. Divine Body, 30% of base res added to attack with a monster weapon. That's pretty nice. Makes up for the fact that you're uh, getting an Int weapon, kind of. As for Special Skills, Ice up to the Omega level. Heal up to the Heal level. Is that right? Let me check to see if that's right. Yeah, I guess that's right. You're not even showing up in my character list. So, uh, yeah. Yay for you, I guess. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Sadly, unlike in Disgaea 2, they are not immune to non-elemental special attacks. That was way overpowered, and it is nerf. Now then. Rawr, indeed. Gold Feather, the best down comforter ever. Ice Element inflicts sleep. Oh no, I kind of like my, uh, my feathers to be warm. Feather rain, chocolate rain, some stay dry and others feel the pain. Yeah, I have got to start packing a water bottle or something if I keep doing any of this. Holy Flare! 
Bahamut has a few choice words for you. Should not be invoking this attack unless you are a million times more powerful and can do a sun skill. Also, that is the wrong animation. <laughs> Moving on. Prism Break. Why does this sound like a thing? I do not know. Disco Annihilation! <laughs> Instead of Desco Annihilation. It's a joke. It's a pun. It's Chugga Conroy! Blah, I say to you, as I magic change into a thing. Whoops. You are a bow! And hey, if, you, if your arrow misses, you can just bite the guy. That works too. <laughs> Sacred Shoot, Ice Elemental. Finally, Centaur Arrow. The only example of a dog tar you will ever see in a video game, except it's more of a dog dragon. Also, you can... The bottom of the bow kind of blocks the important part of the tar. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hung up over that. Except I know and you guys don't, so haha. -ha. I have outsmarted myself. How is that possible? I do not know. It's just a thing. Alright, finally, number eight, the succubus. As I have said, she has a four tile attack range, which is pretty crazy. I kind of want to see the animation for that, really. Anyway, Sexy Aura, decreased stats of adjacent male enemy units. Temptation, 50% chance to add Deprave effect to a normal attack. Dream Hunt, damage to sleeping targets increased by 100%. Pretty Motion, damage taken from male units decreased by 50%. Obviously, we have a theme going on here. <laughs> Let's uh check out your special skills. Fire and heal, both up to omega level, and slumber and charm. Okay. <coughs> Let's play. Alright. Let's start with a uh, physical attack animation, just to see what it looks like. Good stuff. Throwing a bat, okay. There. My curiosity has been satisfied. Now then. Good stuff. Let's turn the Geocube into a little bat, and then stomp on it. Transformation, not just used to keep people out of the way. Good Bound day. Heart. Geocube is in the way of the animation. I really should have thought of that. <laughs> oh well. Tempting break. Too much service, you say. The enemy can see nothing else in this hex. <laughs> We've had a whole bunch of other webcomic references. Why not Earthworld? Alright. 
finally we have Twin Attribute. Good what is that supposed to mean? It's Twin Rover! Oh no! <laughs> Rova apparently takes magical bites out of sprites. Good to know. We got two bombs for our trouble! Oh boy! Too bad we can't use them in battle. Alright, as for your magic change, you magic change to... Good stuff. Play. Me too. <coughs> Good stuff in this case, meaning a spear. Made of bat wings, apparently. That's pretty neat. Here we go. Love and destroy. Here's Bob. Bob <laughs> it's the ultimate flan attack. <laughs> Summon Vampire! Let's play. Was it good? There she is! Okay, well, Let's that was a thing. <coughs> so, that's all eight of today's monsters. I hope you guys were well informed and that you had fun watching me and listening to my snarky comments. Next time, it will be the final episode of Disguise 3, in which we do the last seven monster type units. I hope to see you all there. Bye bye everyone Like, comment, subscribe if you think I'm a thing. <laughs>